Hi, everybody, and welcome to today's Wisdom Wednesdays. I am Petrina Wisdom, your Fresh Start Specialist and CEO Founder of Mindful Living Incorporated. And today, we're going to be talking about awakening attraction. So attraction can be translated into... Um, you know, like uh, the laws of attraction. It could be attraction between two individuals. It could be attraction of money, attraction of a certain career, attraction of a certain lifestyle. Whatever it is, attraction means to you, that's what we're going to be applying these three powerful tips to today. Many of the things that we want and uh, our actions that we need to take towards that desire starts right here in between our two ears, right? It starts in the mind. So what I want to talk to you about today are some of the things that might be blocking you in actually attracting what it is that you desire. So let's jump right into our three powerful tips for attraction. So our first powerful tip for today is know thyself know thy issues. <laughs> Stop avoiding or distracting yourself from dealing with your deeper wounds. You know, acknowledge them and then engage the support that you need to help guide you through the healing process. Um, I know that a lot of us, when we have big challenges, when we experience trauma, grief, uh, we have a tendency to act out. We have a tendency to get really busy and, and distract ourselves with other things so that we don't have to sit in the pain. And part of the challenge with that is that even though we may not think about it, even though we may not be looking at it, uh, you know, we think we've escaped it from time to time, it's always there. Until you actually take the time to sit in your stuff and really acknowledge it, deal with it, and heal through it, it's going to come up to bite you in your butt over and over and over again. And you're going to be repeating those same stories, those same patterns in your life unconsciously, not knowing that you're recreating the pain that you are already feeling and got comfortable with, even though it was uncomfortable. <laughs> Powerful tip number two for today is stop hiding. No matter how much you try to hide, people see who you really are. And uh, I just say, let your freak flag fly. <laughs> Give yourself permission to let go of all judgment and just be fully expressed. I mean, the, the, the world is waiting for you. Whether you believe it or not, your, your individual and specific gifts, talents, personality, um, quirks, are exactly what someone in the world needs. And our last powerful tip for today is become the peace person that you need to become to get what you desire. Each day is an opportunity to make new choices and to create your best life. So once you stop hiding and you really choose to show up in the world powerfully as who you are, then you become the, the person that you need to become in alignment with everything that you desire to have. So step four of my six step wisdom system is declare. <laughs> and in this step, it's all about clarity. So once you fully step into who you are, reconnect, accept, and then fully self-express, then you have to be clear about what it is exactly that you want so that you can determine exactly how to make them happen. You also, uh, it also requires a clear vision. It requires strategy, courage, faith, patience, a lot of patience, <laughs> and in most cases, accountability. I'm here to be that accountability for you. Uh, you know, I'm not just uh, someone who does these videos and rah-rah inspiration, motivation. You know, that's really not who I am. I'm a transformational coach, and it's my job to really sit with you in a sacred space and give you the guidance and the space to really open up and go deep into some of these places that are sometimes uncomfortable and that we don't want to deal with. Uh, it's my job to pull out of you your greatness and then to hold you accountable to that greatness. So I would love to be able to support you. Uh, I've talked about it a few times, but we have an amazing event happening next week 
Thursday, July 17th called our I Am Worthy Tour right here in San Diego. And I'd love for you to come join us. Meet me in person, meet my collaborators and uh, fellow speakers at this event, Kimberly Reyes, Matt Ritchie, and now just announced yesterday, Mr. Peter Scott. Absolutely amazing dynamic speakers, also amazing people, amazing souls people who have dealt with very similar issues that you and I have dealt with, who have struggled with worthiness, who have struggled with not healing certain blocks in their life and having them come up over and over and over again. So if you're frustrated like I've been, if you are doing or think you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing in business or everything that you're supposed to be doing in a relationship or just looking at your life and going, man, I thought I did everything right, but something is blocking me from truly experiencing the, the things that I want in my life and, and having this, this great life that I desire. Then there's something there, and I would love to be the one to sit and look at that with you. So I really want to invite you to come out to San Diego and attend our I, I, our I Am Worthy event. But if that's not possible for you, and there's a link down here so you can check that out, but if that's not possible for you, reach out to me, coaching at patrinawisdom.com. Let's have a conversation. I have programs and products and pretty much anything to fit your budget that can at least get you started on this process of healing and awakening life. So with that, this is going to wrap up our Wisdom Wednesdays for today on Awakening Attraction. It's my honor to be here with you every week. Uh, you know, I can't see you, but you see me, and I know you're listening, and I know you're watching. So let's put some of this into action. Let's integrate. Let's embody, and let's really become our best selves together. All right? Namaste. I'll see you next week right here on Wisdom Wednesdays.